Oh my lord, they even got like a, a heart monitor. You're kidding. Oh my goodness me. I actually want to... I, I, oh, was it handball? Oh my god, yeah, it might have been a handball. That's what they're investigating. Now it makes sense. Oh my goodness, it's a handball. No goal. Oh, damn. Unreal, folks. So, yeah, Belgium are heading for defeat. And those Belgium fans are absolutely infuriated. Incredible scenes here. It appeared that Lukaku had scored an equaliser, but. Thanks to an appendant handball, that has also been ruled out. Just like his other um, chance earlier on, which was ruled out for offside. But my point still stands. Lukaku is a tapping merchant. He does not link up play as well as people think he does. Trossard is being wasted out on the wings. Like, what is Belgium's best team? I've got no idea. Dominic Tedesco has got some serious work to do because... Leaving Yori Tielemans on the bench also makes zero sense, like... Anana and Mangala look way too defensive and way too uncreative to be a particularly effective team. Like, what even are Belgium doing? I... I mean, the Slovak goal, which of course came from Schwanz pouncing on a Belgium defensive error was pretty comical to say the least. I mean, of course, his teammate took a shot goal. Castiles powered the ball away, and Schwanz was the first to react. And credit to Slovakia, they have defended resiliently. They have been extremely focused and have done a great job at slowing the game down. It is seven minutes of injury time with a lot of them play acting for Slovakia. They have disrupted Belgium's rhythm. They have disrupted the Belgian tempo and their passing. De Bruyne has been highly anonymous. I mean, frankly, I think more people know who the hell um, Joe Bloggs is than who Kevin De Bruyne is because he's been pocketed by this Slovak team. And... Um, Doku has struggled to make any decisive runs through this Slovak defence. I mean, Doku, I've been very disappointed by him today. What has, I mean, what did Doku do today? Like, Doku's been so disappointing. And as it stands, of course, uh, the Slovaks are dumping on defenders to waste time. And this has been a fairly dismal performance by... One of the most highly hyped, one of the most heavily hyped up team of international football for the past decade. I mean, Belgium's only alternative is just to shove on pacey wingers, and that's it. But in terms of ball retention, um, vision, being able to split open defenses. This Belgian side cannot do it, and oh, Anorda's actually produced a decent pass there, but it was, well, the goalkeeper, De Braca, has had a decent game today. Yes, I know he's been a bit shaky. I think most of Belgium's best chances throughout the game has come when De Braca has struggled to distribute the ball out well because, of course, he's not the best with his feet, but Belgium have not been clinical, have not really been particularly decisive or um, particularly convincing when the opportunities open up. And Lukaku, of course, had two goals, one ruled out for offside, another ruled out for an appender handball. Kind of unfortunate, but I don't think defenders feared Lukaku like they once did anymore. He doesn't have any pace. He cannot run in behind. Real questions to be asked for Dominic Tedesco, who is stuck with a fairly average team, to be honest. Oh, dear. De Bruyne has a shot, and it's tamely it's, um, fluffed at Debrafka. 